Flora was a large phase three randomized clinical trial evaluating first generation EGFR TKI such as erlotinib or gefitinib versus ozilmedinib, which is a third generation EGFR TKI in EGFR mutant non small cell lung cancer patients with common mutation. It was a large study whose primary endpoint was progression free survival, and this was presented and published a number of months ago. The trial was a large study and demonstrated superiority in terms of progression-free survival for ozirmedinib over the standard EGFR TKI with longer PFS by at least nine months compared to the Comparado R. From the data that we had presented a number of uh, months ago, now we have the final results on overall survival, which is the data we've all been waiting for, with a much longer follow-up and a number of events reached now. The data is fully mature to read the uh, overall survival data, which was a key secondary endpoint. At the time of, at the time of data cutoff, about 5% of the patients on the uh, control arm were still on treatment, where more than 20% of patients on the investigational arm, and that is ozimedinib, were still receiving the study drug. Importantly, this trial included 20% of patients with brain metastasis, the overall survival data was positive, showing a longer overall survival favoring ozirmedinib over the standard EGFR TKI, with a median overall survival advantage of at least eight months compared to erlotinib or gefitinib. And this was highly statistically significant with an hazard ratio of 0.79. What we also saw from a Flora OS recent analysis was that about 30% of the patients only managed to get second line in both arms. And that makes you think that despite this was patients very fit, PS0 to 1 enrolled in a study, so with aggressive radiological follow-up, you still lose a considerable part of your patients when you transition from first line to second line. And this is relevant if you think that sequencing is still an option. What I believe is that the Flora OS now draws a definitive line on the impact of Zirmedinib as a first line agent for EGFR mutant non-small cell lung cancer patient. The benefit is clear. These patients on osimedinib will live longer, and there's also lower risk of losing patients when you transition from first line to second line. And I believe that sequence should not be used in these patients. What we also saw that despite patients on osimedinib had a longer time on treatment, the percentage of incidence of gate three and above adverse events which were treated related were actually lower in the osimedinib arm compared to the standard EGFR harm. So longer progression free survival, longer over survival, and better tolerability for osirmedinib over a standard first generation EGFR TKI. So what do we do with this data in clinical practice? I think seeing the overall survival results for flora continues to suggest that ozirmedinib should be the first line of treatment for EGFR mutant advanced non-small cell lung cancer, as this is, as to date, the best regimen that you can offer to your patients.